Welcome to Neville TV, the brand new Microsoft Surface RT tablet here in a full review. This is the 10.6 inch device with an, an NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor. So this is not the regular Windows 8 installed here, but the Windows 8 RT. The Windows Surface Pro will come out next year, probably in January or in February. But this is actually slimmer, lighter and cheaper. And the battery life is also a little bit better. And as you can see here, we have a really nice um, design. We have not that thick of a bezel it's as big as one of your fingers so you can hold it perfectly or even with one hand it's not that heavy and it has a magnesium um, it's completely built out of magnesium the case itself so as you can see here we have the nice uh, modern UI here installed of course this is the German version but I will guide you through Windows once we go through the hardware so as I was saying this is a really nice design here from the tablet itself you can see that we have a few ports for example um, on this side um, there's the headphone port volume rocker and you have a nice kickstand built into the tablet itself which sounds also really um, good then we have here on the back actually nothing except for a nice design in terms of its matte it has only one windows logo right there and then we have on the top also a camera which i will demonstrate to you also in the test video so from this side we have um, a few more ports that apple doesn't have micro hdmi usb 2.0 and here is the power port the power port is interesting because it's magnetic kind of like with the apple um, notebooks so once my camera focuses again I can show you that we have for example here this um, this power connector of course maybe now it's a little bit better I'm sorry for that and um, so you can just really put this right here and it's magnetic so it will fit on here quite nicely and it will charge it right away uh, right now the magnet does, is not willing to do anything right there uh, in the German video it was easier. Let's try it the other way around. You can actually do it both uh, both ways and once you connected it, it will have a white light indicating to you that it is charging. Let's try it again the other way around because it should work both ways around. There we go and it has again here the white light that shows you that it's charging. So on the bottom we have also here um, the dock connector for the keyboard. The keyboard uh, there is two versions available. One here the um, touch cover which looks like this. You have regular keys here but no um, indicating indication to you that you pressed actually anything except for then you have it connected and you really see it on the screen happening otherwise there's um, regular touch uh, there is regular keyboard available also in the design of a notebook and as you can see it was quite strong here on the magnet on the bottom since um, that's also one thing that Microsoft advertises on here everything just works just like with Apple actually so let's take this cable off again we don't need battery right now since there is really a good battery life on here and as you can see there's a lot of things happening but you can actually turn it off so and if you don't like that there's so much movement around you just have to flick it to the top and you can say live um, UI deactivation and then this doesn't work or this doesn't move anymore this Bing and you can do it for all of these you can just say deactivate and then it will go back to the regular state and you can of course turn it on again and it will continue you can also say it it should be a little bit smaller and you can also make it bigger again there is no way to make it even bigger there's only two spaces or one spaces available right now not like for example in windows phone 8 so and what we will show you today is not only how windows 8 rt works but also what it can do extra because there's also a micro sd card reader for example available there's a 32 gigabyte version and there's also 64 gigabyte version but you can buy a 32 gigabyte micro sd and put it inside maybe even 64 we don't know yet if micro sd xc is also available you just have to slide in the micro sd here in the back and once you did that it should actually tell you that there's a micro sd card inside so let me check here in the windows explorer i think it sometimes doesn't recognize it since i'm putting it in maybe a little bit bad but before in the german video it worked at the second time so there we go as you can see right away a new window opens with the 
items that are on the micro SD here. And what's interesting is you can zoom in and out with two fingers. So since I have most of my information here in the test folder, I can just zoom in here. And if the text is too small for me, since this is an HD display and it can show your text quite crisp and clear, even when it's small, you can see that you can here zoom in, zoom in and make it as big as you want, as big as you need. But that's maybe a little bit too much. So let me make it a little bit smaller again. And then you can see here, we have, for example, a four megabyte picture here, which I just want to check out in my picture program. A regular JPEG, so it should open it up. I don't know, maybe the card speed is too slow, but you can see this is quite a beautiful picture here of a, a car, which is really high resolution. And you can see here everything quite clearly in the picture. So as you can see, this is quite fast. You can do anything here that you can do also on the iPad, but we have a lot more options since there is a USB um, port available and micro HDMI. So as we were able to see, I would just hit the Windows button to go back. But if I just want to go back here into my picture program, I can do this since flicking here through programs is as easy as this. You don't have to double press anything. There's no hardware button that can malfunction like with Apple. You can see this is really fast. You can have open a lot of programs and it's just working quite greatly. And if you want to see a list of programs that are open right now, you just have to do this going back and forth and right there there is your three programs that are also open and you can always go back to the start menu if you uh, use a mouse or use the touch um, cover or the type cover you can just go with the mouse to the um, top left corner and if you move the mouse down you will see also the list so this is quite a nice feature if i want to share this picture for example with somebody i can flick on the right side go to share and say i want to share this to my SkyDrive or mail if i hit mail the mail program will all open here on the side and you can here upload your picture right away and send it to somebody which is of course quite nice so let's go back to the desktop. I am using Windows D for that, but you can also go here to the start menu and hit desktop. It's the same feature. Otherwise, we have, of course, here Word, Excel, um, PowerPoint installed and OneNote and even a PDF reader. So I have a 50 megabyte PDF right here, which I opened up before also in the German video, which is quite crazy since 50 megabyte PDFs with a lot of pictures are usually not that fast to open. But you can see here flicking through the content is quite easy and you can do also here multi-touch so you can do making it smaller. I will say I want to go to page, I don't know, 50 which is right there and you just have to wait not even one second to see everything that's interesting on here. So I can go just to page 50 and then you have everything right there. So what else do we have here? We have of course a few more programs installed, for example Excel and I can open it up right away. It's all for free. If you buy your Windows tablet, it's pre-installed. So this is quite nice. And for some reason, this is not in the full picture right now. I can do full picture mode now. And I have a last um, working document here open. And you can see, of course, you can zoom in here also and have all kinds of features here that you can show off. This is, for example, my timetable, how much I work for somebody. And then it gives you the cost at the end. So you can really use everything for quite a lot. And, and if you don't want to close everything by just hitting this really small X button here on the top. You can use in the desktop mode also this feature to go from all the way to the, from the top to the bottom to close up the program. And then you will see here on the side, it's also not open anymore. And you can do this with any program and you don't have to do it as slow as I did. You can do it also a little bit faster. So, we have of course also some movies on here. And there we go. And as you can see, we have music and also some um, programs that we could install. But if you try a regular Excel um, file to install on your Windows RT device, it will not work since you need a regular Windows um, 8 version for that. Otherwise, we have, of course, full HD video on here. which will play quite easily. As you can see, this is our logo for the German website. Let's just play it again. You can see full HD, no problem, but it need, needs to be, of course, in a special format to work. MKV files right now don't work on the regular video player, but you can, of course, download a program for that. So if you have a file that doesn't work right now, you can just hit this uh, on the store and it will right away search for the ending of the 
a file that you are looking for since this was an MKV Matrovska and there's nothing on the store for that yet and it's of course no help for us right now but maybe there will be VLC and other players in the future so enough from the micro SD let's check out what happens for example if you plug in an Android smartphone I have a Samsung Galaxy S3 here for example right now and there is USB 2.0 of course here on this tablet and as you can see it's charging right away it says charging and it's connected as a media device so if we go to the desktop you will see it opens up right away here and you can go into the card I have a series folder here with a few AVI movies that should be able to play on here for example Food Unwrapped it's a British show which is quite interesting and yeah it's loading but nothing is happening and I don't know why in the German video the same thing happened but with pictures and everything else it works quite nicely and you can of course transfer your files from your smartphone to your tablet and then it should work even better so let's go out again since this is not working let's just hit here home close it up and yeah I think you were able to see that my phone is charging right now and actually the file manager is working so let's unplug that again so this is of course quite a nice feature now what else we could try is also if you don't like touch pads you can use an external mouse for example this is a mini USB, uh, standard USB mouse here which you can plug in like this as you can see it's on it's light it has light and you can use it right away with no drivers in installing here in this regular windows scheme and you can just use the mouse again here to go to the top left corner go a little bit down and then you have all your recent programs open here that you can also here flick through with alt tab or windows tab it has the same feature so this is quite nice let's unplug the mouse again and let's try out the external usb drive so i have a regular external usb drive here by western digital of course you can use any USB drive you want, it's actually even USB 3 but um, of course we only have a USB 2 device here so it should still work but a little bit slower in data transfer. Once you plug it in the device turns on right away and you can see here that it's on and has light and you can see here on the right top corner it says we have something new here connected it should not secure it and you can see that I have really small folders right now but you can make it bigger just by zooming in like this so this is of course quite nice I can go to my folder have a few movies on here I can zoom in again to make it a little bit bigger and here the AVIs um, work right away I have here for example a Big Bang Theory episode TBBT and it works quite nicely you can of course go a little bit forward and it's just perfect and you have no black um, corners here on the display since it's a 16 by 9 display and perfect for watching your movies so you can of course hit pause I can go back home I want to close the program let's see if it's really closed yes it's really closed and then I can just go to Windows D and even in the standard windows you can see that even though the icons are really small you can hit everything quite nicely and I can just say okay I don't want the drive here anymore and you can just unplug it after that so everything is working like you're used to in Windows but you can only install a few thousand programs right now from the Windows Store that are available so what else of course you will compare to an Apple iPad 3 but before what happens if you use maybe a Bluetooth device for example I have an Apple wireless keyboard right here that you can see here and well will Apple and Microsoft work together you will see it here in a second I just have to turn it on as you can see it's glowing green and I connected it actually before also via Bluetooth you just have to go here to device adding and you can see here I have all the Apple wireless keyboard right there it's searching for devices it sees a new Nokia device Blackberry zip I could choose any of those but I don't want to actually it should find my Apple keyboard right away since they were connected before Okay, this is not working as perfectly as I hoped, but before when I was just 
connecting them to each other it was also quite nicely working otherwise of course you have your Microsoft keyboard here that is also maybe even a better choice than an Apple keyboard of course but there we go so you can use it quite nicely here also with external keyboards with Bluetooth for example by just maybe going back to the Windows home screen I can show you that you can also start to look for anything you want to like before but you don't have to press the Windows button anymore you can just type in for example techfocus.de and search in it for in the apps settings or data um, center or you can go to the Internet Explorer and also of course search for it there let's go to our Twitter homepage and then you can see this works quite nicely so it works of course also with Bluetooth devices as you were able to see. I don't want to show you actually too much of that. I can go hit of course Alt tab here and then you can see here again that it works here also with choosing programs or you can use Windows tab here for that. So it will see the Alt button as a Windows button but only for certain functionalities like for example um, just the Alt tab feature. And okay let's try something else. This is of course finished and we have the few programs here installed that are for example interesting like maps maps will give you bing maps but you can of course also install other maps like google maps for example but this is actually also working quite nicely and you don't actually have to go to the um, maps program to search for a street i can just go ahead and search for wall street here right away by typing it in and since this is not an app and a settings i can just go here on the bottom to the maps application and it should search for anything that it finds maybe let me type in also in new york for that so it finds it a little bit easier there we go it found it right away so wall street new york is right there downtown and i can just go right ahead right there zoom in and as you can see it works quite perfectly and we have even a 3d view of new york right there so this is of course perfect and this just looks really quite nice so as you can see windows gives you all the features that apple gives you but with more functionality in terms of you can use anything to plug in into the device so what else i want to show you of course is that this keyboard is just really nice in touch and feel and let's see how it works actually here um, in comparison to the apple ipad let me just grab the tablet put it down here let me turn on the apple ipad unlock it and we have both on both the maximum display brightness right now flipping the pay, uh, screen is also quite easily and goes fastly here in windows as you can see right there but you can see that also the screen is a lot bigger here in the windows device and um, compared to the apple device since this is 9.7 and this is 10.6 inches and we have also quite high resolution here not as high as on the ipad 3 or ipad 4 but you actually don't need it since if i go into the browser and you check out anything when you go quite close you can see that there is no pixels at all anywhere that you would be able to see with your bare eyes so you can see both have a pretty nice display if you look at it from the side you will see also that there is no color changes or anything and in terms of thickness they are both exactly the same so thank you very much for watching and double tvd this was a complete review of the brand new Microsoft Surface RT tablet compared also to an Apple iPad 3. Till next time, please tune in again. My name is Balazs Gal for Endeavor TV. Thank you much for watching.